I'm going to be honest with you, fasting is the cure for everything. Mm -hmm. When your body don't have nothing to eat, it's going to eat all your bad cells up because it go into fight or flight. Mm -hmm. And when it eats your bad cells, your body release hydrogen. And, you know, we breathe in oxygen. Sure. So I be wondering, like, damn, I done went all day without eating or drinking, but I'm still pissing. Like, right. why am yeah, I pissing? Yeah. We create our own water. That's right. When's the fast? Is it the sun's up to down? Is that That's what most people do from sun up to sun down. But I like to do it to where when I break my fast, it's just with liquids. Mm. I like that liquid diet. That's hard. So what's, the, what's the longest you, you fast for? Like no food, just water, yeah, yep, like yep, liquids. Yep. Like 42 days, I did about three of them. We had to fight to get a meal, yeah. Wrongfully accused, we had to fight to get a pill. That's why we right to get a deal. He on the team, he gotta eat, you know. Spike, spike your skills, fat. Keep it riding for the fam, you gotta like the we get wheels straight up. But in the past bad, work up in the trash bag. I'll pass a lot to take the test before I pass class. Yeah. And my family needed bread, I had to come correct. That's why I keep airing it out like I just passed gas. I had to run to the gas station, grab me some of these Celsius, right? You got a deal on these uh, four for one? Jerry, can you hear me? I was asking what flavors you want. They got the watermelon. Is that a package deal? No, because I like the peach. You want two grapes? I, I'm going to get the peach. They got a grapefruit. Right. And these help you burn fat, too. And it's essential energy, so essentially it's, it's, it's good for you. Ain't no preservatives in it. Really, they got anything you want. They got an orange pomegranate, too. Jerry. Yeah. Two more of these, two more games. That's a double dribble. It's a double dribble. This game and then we on? Okay. What's up, Red? What's up, what's up, you good? Yeah. All right. Y'all on next? Okay. This is one of those shows, bro, that you know I've really been waiting on. Um, it's an important one for me, and I, I just want to jump right in. First, thank you for blessing us. No, thank you for having me. For sure. So, Kevin Gates, you know I love to, you know I love to get serious. <laughs> I love to get messy. I love to get serious. This one's going to be probably a little bit of both. We can go wherever. It ain't, yeah. I, the first question I got for you. It ain't no. It ain't no statute of limitation with me. <laughs> right. Right. That's, and that's what. That's why I love you. The first question is like, who's Kevin Gates? Mm. You see what I'm saying? Do you yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we can talk yeah. about this for. A lot of you got so much going on. There's so much. There's so much to you. You want the long answer or the short answer? No, we want you to get long. The real long answer. We, we want. We want. Real. Who's yeah. Kevin Gates? It's, it's poetry in motion. It's constantly evolving. And, I, and the things that I'm revealing right now, I can say I've kind of been afraid to reveal these things that I'm revealing right now. Like such as me being a, a world-class chef, a world-class trapeze slash athlete. <laughs> trapeze slash <laughs> athlete. I ain't met a police officer yet that could catch me. <laughs> <laughs> I got a hell of a 40. <laughs> 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 with all due respect, yeah. with all due respect, oh, no, I just wanted to kind of cut through, um, cut through the seriousness, the tension of it, and just make everybody feel good and relax. Um, but back to me being, a, I hate to I hate to sound like a narcissist, but um, I'm half man, half amazing. It hasn't been anything that that I haven't been able to conquer. So lately. I'm working in combating depression, combating suicidal attempts, people that want to commit suicide, um, combating bullying. Uh, I'm a designer. I'm a lifestyle curator, like what me and you talked about, because you know anybody that's in the room with me, eventually they got to get in tune with me, because I don't do drugs. I'm, you know, everything I do is in the health and wellness spectrum, so it's like I'm just big on that. Like e emotional intelligence, being addicted to self improvement, like that's my thing now. Like learning how to surrender. I know I'm so great, but at the same time, I'm only like a little piece on the board, taking myself out of the equation and looking at how we affect each other as a whole. Because when I say I'm great, we great. In order for me to see greatness in somebody else, I got to see greatness in myself. Right. 
you know. And I do want to say another thing. Like, I know we on camera and stuff, but it's a blessing to sit across from you. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. I, I hate to say that, like, did I, I, you know, the camera get all mushy. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nah, though. like, this, this dude really, I hate to celebrate people, but this really my brother. Like, sure. like, even that Super Bowl, he just jumped in the car with me out kidnapped him. <laughs> 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 we were, we went ate and everything, and then whenever we talk, it's always something that's like, it helped me become better. Like, he opened his facility up for me at 2, 3 in the morning, whatever time I called. All right. Cause this therapy for me. Mm. I think that's a good thing, man. Like your philosophy on love. Like how do you easily fall in love? Like, and you know, you you just express how you love your brother. Like, what what is that? I, I believe in love at first sight. It's energy with me. I believe in love at first sight. It's, it's energy, and I operate out of the spirit of love. Not everything I do out of love. Right. Even if you play, I'm just just love you to death. But it's, it's all love with me. So even if somebody energy on, you know they, they ain't right, you still coming from that get, like you loving that person? Yeah. You gonna love them harder? Yeah, cause it, it's, it's never no negative thing. As far as like, you had to give me an illustration or example, like that's yeah, the strongest. That's yeah, the, somebody that's, wrongs you yeah. or something like that. Somebody wrongs you. You still got that same love for them? Yeah, I love you. But I still live under a code of conduct. Mm. I'm even before. That's gonna disallow me to with this person. Right. You know. I, I look at it before that from the get, like without you even knowing the person. You know what I'm saying? Like if I encounter with you and I feel like your vibes, your energy might be off for a little bit. Like what's your perspective on that? Surrender. I, I don't jump the gun no more. I used to jump the gun because you know in the streets, it's like you under this mindset where I don't do no talking. Right. I mean, soon as he flinch wrong, I'm getting off because mm. uh how that quote go? He who hesitates in war, he who hesitates is lost. Right. It's, a, it's a poem. I don't know if it's right. You got all the best quotes. So yeah. We might as well keep it. Yeah. <laughs> that love at first sight. But, but. I like, be divorced twice, just so you know that. No, it's not. You led with your heart. It mm. was a journey. Y'all each other. Yeah, you got to help they, me out with that one. They still a great, they still a great I person. I still miss them. <laughs> you got to catch his you Let them land, though. Let them land. Miss you got to let them land, though. <laughs> You miss you miss certain things about that person. You don't miss that person. Why are you not with him? He said he led with his heart first. And yeah, first. you said love at first sight. I, I thought I, I seen him like, damn, I love her. And then that I'm, I didn't did that before. So that's that's normal. Though. And then people be like, that's lust. How? Because I didn't. It wasn't. In, it wasn't nothing sexual. It right. was the energy right, that I right. fell in love with. You know you're in, sorry to interrupt. You know you're in therapy right now. Yeah, no, nah, I said I said he can therapy. Yeah, he nah, for sure. Counsel. This who I talk to. He got his master's degree when he had a little vacation. Did 31 this, months. Yeah, this who I talk to though. So we all help each other. He got powers though, right? And I can't wait to ask you this. Cause I, I I seen like an interview you did and dog, I never met somebody that started a car with their hand. Tell me how you, you I'm gonna be honest with you, <laughs> and not to get off subject. A lot of people not ready for that, that um that subject matter. Mm. So I really stay away okay, from it, okay, and I really okay. spoke on that prematurely, which a lot of people starting to wake up and understand that we are powerful people. But I stay away from that conversation because it was so much negativity and just the disbelief of it. Because people are natural skeptics. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those. I gotta see it to believe it type people. Okay. So I got to see it to believe it. It's so a positive, I was the only, positive and I know, angle. And I, yeah, yeah, I, know, right. I know it was from a positive angle, yeah. but I just want to stay away from that for okay, okay, no the, doubt, the, no the many skeptics that may be watching. Okay. But I will have that conversation with you in private. Perfect. Because I'm talking about, like, even with me and you, it was love at first sight, like your energy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. like, you, you in tune. I like you, know, I, I, I hate to I, say, I, I hate to say it like that, but you, you be, in tune. Because you, uh, like, when we was talking about our first question for you, I'm like, listen, this dude, yeah. Can you can go in any different direction, you know what I'm saying? Because like yeah. it's one time you was way bigger than that, from the health That's standpoint, right. from the religion, you know what I mean, from the, the the mental health. Like it's so many different ways. So we was like, damn, who is Kevin Gates? So. That's why I like when I ask you a question, even about you know touching the, the, the you know starting the car and all that. You like, ever been at the? You ever been at your house? I say this. You ever been at your house or something and been moving around with clothing and touch somebody? They're like you shocked me. Yeah, 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 for sure. That was the transference of what electricity. Right, right. Makes sense though. That makes sense. You know, it's, it's interesting. And some people, our bodies are electric. 
The monks say that though. Bro, I'm being serious. The monks say that. How they could transfer different energies from touches. But through the chi. Through your chi. It's in your stomach. See? I ain't bo Hit them bullshit. bullshit. No, I'm laughing because when he right. that, you like it's your, it's your chi. Through your stomach. We believe that our stomach is our first brain. It's the CPU. It's the central processing unit. It's what sends everything everywhere. A lot of our emotions are dictated by what we put in our stomach. You know, it's some foods you can eat how you sluggish. It's some foods you can eat before a workout and you... Right, you feel energy, yeah. Let's yeah. get it. So, you know, it, our bodies are electric. You, you... All right, this is a terrible question because I already know the answer. I won't even ask, ask it. Just you know ask your it. power. You ask, know your ask, power. Ask, like when you, ask it from the perspective of others that may not right, know. Right, right, right. Do you know, do you know the power that you possess? Like, you walked in today, right, and... and you know, we got a whole team here. And I'm gonna call him out. Our videographer, Keon. I'm like, yo, like get that shot at Gates on the piano, right? He like, man, that energy thick right now. That's what he said. He's like, yo. Like, but I know you though. It's I know heavy. you. I, I told it's them heavy. too. I said, yo, I'm sending them clips for the past couple weeks. Like, yo, this is a serious conversation. You feel me? So I already know you. That's why I was like, yo, bro, can you do this real quick? <laughs> but Keon. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to move around here. <laughs> so my question is, do you know do you know the power that you possess when you walk in a room? Yes, sir. But it's not from the standpoint of I'm high and mighty. You know, as you know, I hunt. I hunt. So it's a different type of energy when you hunt. My I guess my uh my grid is a lot larger than other people's grid because I gotta be sensitive to any small fluctuation in the energy in the room. And I'm not here to, to overcome the energy. I'm over here to just sit with it, surrender, and feel it. And once I surrender and I feel it, I know where to go. I know which way to navigate. I let the energy guide me. They say when you, uh, when you, when you sit down a little bit, so I, I brought it up 2008, 31 months, right? Like you learn a lot. And and I don't know if it's true or not, but they say you got your master's degree in psychology. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Okay, that's true. Um, Only to learn one thing. What's, what's that? that? I hate to say this. Say it. We was already masters <laughs> in psychology. We was already masters just coming from the street because we already dealt with so many personalities. We just didn't put a a big, we didn't put a, we didn't put a big label on it. You know, it's a gray area. It is no black and white. Every day when I meet somebody, I'm, I'm doing an individualistic approach. Every day, it, we was already that. We did, we just, we got, the, we got the lettering and the documentation that just confirmed that we was already great. I ain't need nobody to tell me this. We already do this through life's experiences. That's why I kind of like, it wasn't a waste of time. It just was confirmation in, to who I am. Yeah, that's, and that was going to be my next question. You know, did that vacation make you better? Yes, sir. You know what I'm this saying? It was the best thing that ever happened to me. And this, was in, this was in 2008? 2008. So career well, every took off. Time, he came in, you came in when I came in. So 2006, every, every, I made every, it to the league. Every, every time I went to prison was the best time. It was the best thing because I always got greater through my isolation. Like learning? And through isolation, you, you elevate. When you isolate, you elevate. Because you at one with yourself. You in tune with yourself. You seeing yourself in a way, like outside. You you, you got to think you're not being overly stimulated with social media. You're not, mm. none of that. You just really just with yourself. Right. And that oneness, you become God-like in a sense. I feel like I'm floating. Like when you listen to you speak, I feel like I'm, like I'm floating up, elevating up my chair, like you are because we're like we're sitting there with Kyrie. I'm just smarter. Yeah. But you are because you are because a lot of these conversations are refreshing because you know when we talk with other people, it's about what song and right, right, right. what bitch and man, this bitch bad and you know we compare notes. So you know we have dick measuring contests inadvertently. You know we don't know that we're doing it, but that's what we do because everything be competition and ego. And it's refreshing when you find somebody that, that say, you know, hey, you great. And in order for me to see greatness in myself, I got to be able to see it in others. That's a beautiful thing. Like, if the energy aligns, like, we in alignment right now, so this is holy. 
Like you don't gotta go to church. This is sacred. This is a sacred moment for us. That's why we, we our vibrations is raising. I haven't eaten or drinking anything today. At all. Oh, it's Ramadan, Ramadan all right? I got a lot of Muslim homeboys. Yeah. Hey, hey, real quick. I got a I got a funny one to ask you though, because <laughs> in some of your interviews, any in, question? In, in, in any question? Yeah. In some of your music, you, you you love to talk about how you you get up in them guts and they feel in their stomach, right? Now, real quick. <laughs> you know, I gotta get there. Look, like, look, look, I don't lie. Look, 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 look. Why are you looking? Because sometimes, look, real talk, real talk. I do something like, now, real talk. Some of my female friends, I might send them a Kevin Gates clip. Like, yeah, what's up? Like, you know what that means? Because you hear the lyrics, and you know I'm about to come over there. But that's the other part. That's the other part. My question is, <laughs> I got drafted to the Eagles in 2009, right? That's when me and Deshaun Jackson met. Yeah. And it was this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me finish. Look, 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 at the time, my real talk, at the time, old girl name was um, Corinne Stephens. I won't even say her nickname. You know what I'm talking about? Super. Super, right? So I got a lot of, you know, I got a lot of female homegirls, and they hear what you're saying and your and your and your and your, your music. And, and there's no shade to her. No, no, no. But let, let me there's finish. No what shade to her. You got to use your hands, though. <laughs> oh, she used her hands. I don't know if you've seen the videos. With all due respect, there's no shade to her though. They right. got some monsters out here that ain't never write no book. But but I'm talking about I'm talking the part of <laughs> when, when you like we were so hyped when we heard about her. So then I was trying to get in contact with her. Do girls be trying to reach out to you? They hear you you doing this, you doing that. Like I need to get this nigga number. Like I'm DMing and trying to. To be honest with you, where I'm at on my journey right now, I know this is gonna sound weird. This is gonna sound crazy. I really. I don't view sex as people view sex. I don't. I don't even really like talking about it in a sense because it's not physical for me. It's spiritual for me. It, it's a connection. Okay, okay. You know, I pray before I have sex. That's real. And, okay, and okay. when I, I noticed, what made me kind of shy away from talking about it is because when I talked to women, it seemed like they was chasing after a fetish or they was seeking arousal or yeah. things of that nature and really wanted clout from those type of situations and conversations, but they don't understand, like, when you were God, this is spiritual unification. This is not no just, you know, in and out to put, you know, I'm beating up, you know, I'm beating up back in. This ain't just that. <laughs> you know, now we get excited sometimes, you know what I'm saying? If a, if a woman say I ain't in her stomach, she hating on me. But, <laughs> that's how I was a superhero. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm oh, just saying, man. like, I shy away from those type of conversations because it's like, like sex is sacred to me. It's spiritual unification. Like I like, come on, like what man you meet that don't release? Right. What man have you met that don't release? That say, you know, my life force is so important to me that I don't release. So it's like whenever I would have a conversation with a woman about that, it's like she, oh, you know, you you get you you seeking arousal. Or you seeking something that's gonna make a wow factor from this. But this is my life. And it's not because I feel like I'm better than nobody. I know the power that it give me. Like, when you meet men, you can see, I meet men that, that, that release every day, all day, and they drained. They brain don't have the cognitive, the cognitive function that my brain has. It's real. They, it's just, they not as strong. I'm talking about emotionally, their emotions be in total disarray because you didn't, spread your energy, spread yourself too thin with all these different women, mm -hmm. you know, and our semen contains consciousness. Mm -hmm. So you place your consciousness everywhere. Do you ever release or you just never release? You just... If, if, if I need to release, your body going to do it automatically. Your body just going to release. That ain't like teasing us? Like, oh, you probably so mentally... No. You should be teasing what me. You do is, what you do is, it's called sexual transmutation. Like when I wake up with, they got something called morning wood. Yeah, like yeah, most yeah. Men, I don't just grab a sock and shoot it in a sock. I take that energy from that and jump straight out of the bed and put it into my workout or put it into my music or put it into something that's going to make me greater. Like sex transmutation. You translate that sexual energy into your craft. I was, I was just going to say like a lot. one like of the a lot of people that about, get injured, in, like when yeah, you play sports, yeah. like a lot of people that get injured and stuff like that, like I noticed since I've been, well he got me doing Pilates. But I noticed since I had been like on my yoga journey, uh -huh. I ain't had no injuries. And I noticed that- like flexibility since, type. Yeah, right? and I noticed that since I haven't been releasing, my recovery is like that, mm -hmm. ASAP. 
is it almost makes you God so, like. So you we we in Ramadan now, right? And we talking about sex as well. One of the things I think about as a man, I think about discipline. I feel like for us to reach our full potential as men, we gotta be disciplined. And I look at a couple areas in my life and I could miss a couple, but like sexually, if you can't, if you can't be in control, then you can't, you're not in control, right? Like, can you say no? Can you walk away? Do you have boundaries around what you're doing? Training is another one, how you take care of your body. Like, I feel like you have to have a routine, a discipline around how you take care of yourself. And as athletes, a lot of this is already built in, that routine, that structure. You know, but we're not thinking about sex. And then also food. Food's a big one. Do you have discipline mm. at the table? Yeah. Like, yeah, think about it. It's hard it like, to yes. walk away. It's hard. And a lot of us don't even think about that. Like, can you walk away? And I brought up Ramadan because, you know, you go through this experience and you got to have that discipline. Yeah. And, and, and when you do that, it's like, when you talk about evolving, you talk about learning and experiencing different things, the world just opened up. I went, the longest for me, I went seven months celibate For real? last year. Damn. Yeah. And I felt powerful. I Turned felt you strong. Into a monster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they laughing at me. I shared this with my team uh, a couple laughing. weeks ago. No, it's another experience, but like. I'm impressed. That's some I released a couple weeks ago. <laughs> you, and look, bro, but I'm telling you. When you was doing that, when we was communicating, you could see it all in your skin. Your glow was right. there. And that's what uh, the woman's ovaries are attracted to. Like, they, you could walk in the room and your aura is so strong, it's called magnetism. I use that to magnetize the things that I want into my life, such as the accomplishments and goals. When I walk in a room, of course, a woman going to say, yeah, I ain't really feeling him like that. You just saying that because the Don wasn't on location. Mm. But when I'm on location, you're going to lose your mind because your body, you having a chemical reaction to my aura. You can't help yourself when you're in the presence of greatness. Let me ask y'all this question because you talked about uh, sex being spiritual for you. Y'all yeah. know, you see, know exactly where I'm going, Kim. Y'all yeah. know exactly where I'm going. Because, like, I experienced something so, look, DJ, like, where did you go? Did you pray? Nah, I ain't pray. That's interesting. You no, pray. I, I like he said that. I'm gonna pray. It's the I affirmation, though. You gonna pray, but who you praying over, though? Like, but I'm. <laughs> Yo, my, I, let me hold on. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. I feel like the woman, the woman that I'm energetically about to align with, we should want to make these affirmations before we enter this. She would be in tune with me. She gonna love it. She gonna say, you know, I never met no man to do this. I never met no man that do this. I never met no man that told me, hey, look, as soon as we finish, hey, make sure you go urinate. So I could clean out my I could clean out my urethra. You could clean out your, you know, you is this is how we flush ourselves. You never met no man. I never met no man that was as clean as you. You know, like that's like if I had sex with a woman and we might not come, I might not give her no STD, but I go have a have sex with another woman, you know, just the energy could offset her pH levels. That's real. Mm. Just the energy from it. Because a woman's body is very, very sensitive to energy, such as men too, but we like the downplay. Like if I get super angry, your body release a chemical called cortisol. Right, right. And it could give you a urinary tract infection, which most men don't know that. Your body release a chemical called cortisol when you super mad. And then there you go. When you pit, man, you got me. Can't get you, you got yourself. So you don't have no random sex then, it sounds like. You, you can't have that. I will if the energy in alignment, but uh, the energy ain't been in alignment because I could be somewhere and see a woman that drink alcohol and I'm like, mm. Where Where you get that mentality from? Like growing up, who, who do you like give your credit to like as far as who raised you? Like, cause your mental is different. My like, grandfather, Big Sam, I, I live life at an accelerated pace mm -hmm. and I did have positive male reinforcement in my life, even though a lot of the males in my life made a lot of the wrong decisions, but the intentions was pure. Cause that's all they knew. They ain't had no choice but that. And like I say, big brother, don't get it twisted. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes every day. I break down. I get angry. I do all of that. Everybody do that. But I have ways of dealing with it. And my way is like fitness. A lot of stuff you talking about it reminds me of somebody that had a close relationship that lost their life, Nipsey Hussle. Um, like, what was your relationship with, like with Nipsey if you had one? And just give us a story about him, cause. You know, I don't like to talk about this either, bro, but I did see him a couple of days before he died. 
and we had a real deep conversation. I told him something. Yeah. He had just broke his face. And I, it's crazy that when I be, the two times that I done been around him, mm -hmm. like he was fasting at the same time I was fasting. Right. That was weird for me. Um, but him and my, him and my, I got family out here in California and he real close with my family. Right. But other than that, I don't really like to get into that conversation because like you got so many skeptics out there. Mm -hmm. But a few days I told him, I said, look, I'm about to go to Dubai. When I was in Dubai, that's when I got the phone call from J-Rock. Yeah. He was like, man, my brother. I hate to even, you know, that shit. Cause I love J-Rock with all no, my heart. Yeah, J-Rock money. I, it, I, I, it, yeah, I can see where to this day it changed sure. him because he yeah. even more overprotective of me now. Sure, sure. 100%. I'm more on like the health side, so like the doctor said, be like in the eating, you know what I'm saying? Like your regimen on the health and like what the shit you eat affects you and you can see it in your face. Like more on that type of level, like if you don't mind. Like, well, I'm going to be honest with you, fasting is the cure for everything. Mm -hmm. When your body don't have nothing to eat, it's going to eat all your bad cells up because it go into fight or flight. And when it eats your bad cells, your body release hydrogen. And, you know, we breathe in oxygen. Sure. So I be wondering, like, damn, I done went all day without eating or drinking, but I'm still pissing. Like, right. why am I pissing? Yeah. We create our own water. That's right. When's the fast? Is it the sun's up to down? Is that That's what most people do from sun up to sun down. But I like to do it to where when I break my fast, it's just with liquids. Mm. I like that liquid diet. That's hard. So what's the, what's the longest you, you fast for? Like no food, just water, yeah, yep, like yep, liquids. Yep. Like 42 days. I did about three of them. 42 days? I hate what I'm about to say. I don't even want to say I don't hate it. We, we learn it. This, this, yeah. I'm going to lie. This nah, is, we it's, 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 it's kind of deep. You go there, bro. Nah, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm going to just say this. When you fast, you're not delusional when you fasting. Things really get weird because you're not seeing into you seeing beyond the physical realm. You you seeing into a spiritual realm. Why, but like, but why are you protecting? Why are you protecting like uh, going deep? Some, some of your experiences, yeah. Like you know, like it's cra it's crazy. Somebody I, need to hear. I just cut you off, but it's I, like I'm. It's not got that. Chills, I just, but my boy, I swear to God, bro. My boy last night he fasting out. It's his first time doing it. And he telling me like I should try it, and I'm just listening to what bro talking about it. shit. Like I'm here double, like it's just crazy, bro. So I want you to go into it's that. It's not shit, that bro. I'm afraid of it. It's just that I stay away from spiritual conversations because it's like people take people try to destroy things that are sacred it's and powerful, beautiful because sure. they don't and know. powerful. But yeah, how would that look though? That. Why, why does it matter? In the, why does it matter? You know what I'm saying? So we out here. That's what you saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's like, <laughs> look, like you don't want no filter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, you mean you mean you feel like. It's more attention to you or? Nah, it's just more. in general. I think just the in general fact that he's saying when you talk I, about certain I, stuff. Like I was trying to be, I, I was trying to like kind of keep everybody kind of, no, keep my no. wingspan around everybody. But if you want to. No, because like when you talk about fasting, uh, I was playing for the Chicago Bears 2000, 2013. I went on a fast. I did 21 days. And <clears throat> um, Dwayne Joseph, uh, one of my mentors, He'll be a general manager one day in the NFL. And uh, he is like, yeah, I think you should go on a fast. But when you fast, I want you to journal. I want you to meditate. And I want you to, um, I want you to pray, right? And so I did that. And one of the, I, had a, I, had a, I had an experience where my, my cousin, um, Denise, her second fight of cancer came back. And I'm, I'll never forget, I'm driving down the highway going to practice. And I'm like, all right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna pray. But we're not even, we not even entertaining that. At all. It's fixed. Boom. So we pray. It's fixed. We pray. She called me back three days later. I went to the doctor. The doctor said they can't even find it. And I'm not saying that was Alhamdulillah. Through, you know what I'm saying? Alhamdulillah. But fasting, bro, like when you I'm really a fast. I'm a when fast. you pray and you meditate. And you write down, like so much stuff comes up and so many things can happen, but you gotta be really aligned though. When I need something, when I'm really in need, like if I need the answer, I need clarity, I stop eating. I hate to, like, I know this sound weird to people when they hear this, but it take, it take about that 40 to really reset who you are as a person. That 20, so, that 21, that 21 going to be a complete like reset. But then once you get in that 40, man, close to them 30, that's when things get weird. 
See, I was doing in I a did, good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing. I did twenty one. I was eating like nuts and peanuts, like kind of like paleo, like Jesus died. They call it. Is that cool? Is what's that, your, that what's okay? your suggestion on yeah, it's somebody? Different. It's like what's your suggestion on somebody that's that's never done it before, like, like starting off. Starting off, like, what, what would you suggest? The slower you go, the further you get. The slower you go, the further you get. If you go on to do two or three days, mm -hmm. then one day work your day to six days, work your way just, you know, going slow. Right. I ain't just go straight to the 40. Right. I did like three. Sure. I was like, yeah, that's cool. Then I started doing like seven. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's cool. Did 20 something days one time. I'm like, man, I'm about to go that whole 40. I know I could do it. Right. And I had weak moments, yeah. but that's where prayer come in. That's when I tap into my spirit. Sure. I don't know why people want you to think that the spirit, uh, Holy Spirit comes into your, your spirit is already holy. Right. Out of five billion sperms, you was the one that made it. I heard Dick Gregory say that. For your sure. spirit already holy, it was supposed to be here. Sure. We just think less of ourselves, but I had made a vow to myself. I never do no more negative self-talk. I never doubt myself, beat myself up for past mistakes. And what's been helping me when I do my self inventory checks like any mistake, like you ever made a mistake and you think back and you kind of cringe, like, man, I shouldn't have did that. Yeah, that, that's the philosophy I look at on your philosophy on winning. I like, go back and forgive myself. Yeah, like I, see, I seen a quote you said something about like, you're going to win so much, but until you understand that awareness of what you're doing bad, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that shit is interesting to me because it's like, we don't really know how good we can be until we go through phase in life, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But like every, every fall down, it's not about the fall, it's about how you get up from Adver that fall. Adversity builds character. You, you mentor a lot of other like young rappers or rappers in general? Because he got a different perspective than any if rapper. If they I've ever around been. me, but, and I'm not going to say I let bad experiences frame me. Like I, I learned from somebody, don't change who you are, change who you good to. But my thing is, I just do it in a broader spectrum now so I don't hone in on just one individual. Mm. But if I, I didn't have people around me that I didn't gave them the game, mm -hmm. I like really gave them the game. And like I, I'm super proud of them, whatever, whatever. But sometimes some people could love you so much. They could love you so much that their pure existence will be shattered if you don't disappear. Is that is that NBA young boy? They got people like that. Like they could love you so much, emulate everything you do so much, but by you still existing, it shatters who they want to be. And it's been like that my whole life in my neighborhood, not to cut you off. No, nah, no, nah, you good, dude. Like, I've been in the streets my whole life, so I got a bunch of like people that y'all watch me do these things in the streets and emulated me and everything that y'all do, from accent to walk, talk, everything. It's is, a million. Is, is, that, is that on the table though? The one you talked about, like? You oh no, nah, that's proud. my brother. I love him to death. So that, we ain't gonna speak on that. We can speak on it. I wish him the best. Who, who is that? Because you said you're proud of it. Like, I'm interested to know, like, who? Oh, no, I got sons out here, like, mm. like that I raised. No, I'm saying in the NBA, I mean, in the, in the, in the, in in the, the industry, in the as far industry. as rapping, yeah. Like, who, who was a person that you could talk about where you gave him game and you looked up and he took it in and, you know, really used it for what it was worth? Just an example. Man, I could give you a lot just of people. Give, just give me a few. Look in the music industry. Just look at it. I always say that, then. No, just look at it. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, not, that, that, let's, that, take, that, I love NBA young boy. That's my little baby. I die from right now. Yeah. Hey, I'm talking about look in the in, in the industry, like everything you see. Mm -hmm. I respect you. Uh, real talk. Not real shit. Like when I like I knew I met I knew you dudes. Yeah. Like before, when y'all first came in this year. Mm -hmm. Like all of them. Like look at it. <laughs> no, that's big. <laughs> And you came in, that's what Just I'm look asked. at it. I'm talking about from the mouth to everything. Just look at it. And I'm not trying to throw nobody under the bus. Right. But look at it. <laughs> you know, but I was telling you about that. It like, it, well, explain that. Say I don't know yeah. music. I like your music. I listen to you. I oh still listen God. to really, really. Yeah, you pull it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still listening to 2015. No, I'm saying, like, like, I, I, respect, yeah, I think I want to put the okay. OBJ and put, go put back, me on. Go back, go back on you. Okay, this is my challenge, the Kevin Gates challenge. Go back and look at Kevin Gates in 2015 right. and look at everything else now. So what you, so what, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Elaborate on that. Like, like, this is texture. This is real texture. It's not cut. You got to come get me off the bottom of the glass. I'm down there swimming <laughs> with the dolphins. When I, was, when I was sitting back really 
Because I know you as a person, I really, and I like your music. <laughs> but I don't really know the history. You feel me? Like, so I'm prepared. Like, I've got to be a journalist. Yeah, so I got to read. You know what I'm saying? So I'm learning stuff as I'm reading. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Damn, you came in when I came in, 2006, 2007, whatever. And, you know, you're a real OG. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like, and me and you had this conversation in the Super Bowl, I feel right. like you about to evolve and morph into something different. Uh, what's next? Like that's you know what I'm saying? What is it? Something going on. And you know what's is, going on. Tell me what's going um, on. Big screen, small screen. I didn't want to see it, but big screen, small screen, cooking with Kevin Gates. Like I'm really a dog in that kitchen. People travel all over the, this real talk. People travel from all over the world and wake me up out of my sleep and make me cook for them. Please. I'm going to come in tonight, we just go in the morning, get everything, just let me know what you need, I'm going to bring it in, I just want you to do that thing, what you did that time when we was over there last time. So you getting down like that? Then I say, look, I'm going to show you how to do it. I just showed them how to do it, and guess what? They still don't get it right. That's that Louisiana. Yeah, that's that Creole food. Okay, so that's a little something to it. I appreciate that. Like, what's, and this might be too surface level, but music, like, I feel like something big about to happen in music for you. I feel like you're about to go on a crazy run. Like, I feel like you... You know what I'm saying? I am. I am. I feel like you just been like. I am. I'm about to go on a stupid run, big brother. <laughs> I hate it. It's, it's so amazing that I'm humbled and I'm excited at the same time because it's, it's about to go in the air. And, the, and for me, the reason why, like, I'm sitting with him at Super Bowl. I want to try that food. Damn, like, hold you. Your I fan wanna base. I want to try that your, food. Your fan base is. I mean, that's what. Now, nowadays, if you got a fan base, you got an audience, you can do whatever you want. Yep, it's about yep. that, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, man, it's time. Yep, yep. What can you do social? You know, for you, you say like, yo, we're going to be over here at 12 p.m. You're going to have the whole city out. You understand? So that's what I'm interested in seeing it was, over it was, it was grassroots. I started grassroots. I wasn't on the internet with it. I was out in the streets and people's faces. When it was only 10 people at a concert, I still gave it my all. This was years ago. When everybody was going to do big clubs and all that, I was touring. I only getting like maybe $2,000 a concert. Less than that, maybe $1,000. My first show that I ever did in my life, I got like $300 for it. Hmm. I don't care. That's I'm going to get it because I ain't doing that, now, that 10 turn in, that 10 going to turn into 20. You can have millions of fans, but guess where you got to start at? You always got to start at one. Mm. So is that the passion part? Is that the passion in it? Of the, of the journey? I'm really kind of living my dream already because my goal was to only hear somebody drive by in the car with my music playing. Hmm. And it ain't a place I go in the world. Any slump in America, they going to be playing at Gates. Kevin That's Gates getting played up in everybody. Right, right. For real, bro. I think we got a mutual friend. You, you real cool with uh, uh, Trent Williams? That's my dude. He be there. That's, that's my crazy brother. now that shit all coming in my life. talking about like, yeah, Trent Williams. That's, that's my dog. Yeah, that's yeah. my dude. Hey, he, he, he love that's you, brother, bro. bro. That mm-hmm. talking so much about you. I had told him about when he had the, um, uh, his, yeah, I was the, telling him I had sent him a thing about fasting. Right. Like, they had another dude was fasting. He had, not to get back on fasting, but he had coughed up, like, I think his body expelled, like, over 30 tumors. Word. That he didn't even know he had. Did you hear about that story? Yeah, well, yeah. Tra- they, they, I heard about they, it. The Redskins was trying to force him to play. And he like, no, nah, I got something wrong with my head, bro. And he came back, it was cancer. But they was trying to force him to play through that. He was like, nah, I'm f***ed up. And then he I'm took not, a year off, right? I'm yeah. not trying to sound too California-ish. Because they be like, that sounds so L.A. when you say that. <laughs> but cancer is only energy blockages in the body. Mm. In the body? Yeah, energy blockages. They say you sound too California. Why, why you say that? <laughs> they say, like, I'm from LA. I got this helpline that I do. Yeah. Like, where people call in, and I'm like, it's a cure for everything. That sounds so LA. <laughs> I, I get what you say. Hey, but you know, I deal yeah. with the skeptics. You know, that's cool, because I'm a big skeptic also. I got to see it to believe it. But I'm open to trying yeah. new things and create new neural paths. But they say that, like, you sound like so California ish yeah, when you say that. <laughs> cool. But look at me as opposed to you. Yeah. Mm. I, I never been to one of your shows. I got I got a I got to experience it. But you talked about passion. You just did a show recently. Well, it was a lot. I was talking to a friend and I was like, you know, actually I connected y'all. It's a different experience. And she was telling me about it. She was like, yo, like 
his his she was telling me about your fan base and how crazy it was. But you just did a show recently, and your eyes was like bloodshot red. I was probably crying. Oh, you was crying. Yeah, but I do that three, four times a day anyway. I release like that. Yeah. But it just was. I probably was crying, or probably was the sweat. What you crying about? You just you find something to cry about? I just be releasing. Like when I was telling you about J Rock, just the way he was destroyed, I was about to cry just now. I had to hold it back together. Right. Because I don't mind people seeing it. Right, right. I cry three, four times a day. I don't care. <laughs> I, I'm in tune with myself you know now. So you making yourself cry? Or you finding something to cry about? Like no, I done been through so much past traumatic experience that we suppress. As men, we have to be so tough oh, all shit, the time man. that we never release. You right. And sometimes it just I, it just come like that. I release. Yeah. It's been years of this. I've been through the worst of the worst. For sure. The worst. Shit, I'm with you, my brother. You, so you said ahead. real quick. You said that um, you only care to hear somebody you know ride past playing your music. That's, that was my goal at first. Okay, so when, when did you when did you know like I and Rob, like, I made it? Like, damn, like I really made it. I had got lost. I had got lost in chasing like the fame okay. at one time. Right. And I started looking at Instagram when I came back home in 2018 from the last bid I did. And I was like, man, everybody that took my swag and don't nobody salute me, don't nobody pay me my respects. You know, man, you y'all notice me. You know this me. You ain't none of y'all know. I know security. I'm living like that anywhere I go. Any, everybody has bad witness to this. Mm -hmm. We shot the video on Watts. Not out of now because I'm no tough guy. It's because I come with love. Mm -hmm. I'm comfortable right. in these places because these are the environments that I really come from. Mm -hmm. So that's why it was so much love when I go places. Now you see everybody. <laughs> Y'all just getting different results when the cameras come off. But you know, <laughs> no, and there's no, and there's no point intended to anybody. But you're not going with love. You're going to prove a point. Yeah. Right, you're going, right, you're right. going with different intentions. And and, and like, it, it just it hurt to say, man, I put so much in the game. I've been a pioneer of this. But um, after I dropped, that was I was having these, these thoughts after I dropped Big Gangster. It was like, man, I felt like, man, the labels, they just used my loyalty against me. Y'all got me to take these children under right, my right, wings. Right. And, you know, my style, it was, it was right, beneficial right. for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all took my blueprint. You know, I, I like used. I, yeah, I, I felt used. You know, I used to be pointing the finger. I'm standing on Coangle. Okay. Just standing out where I remember I was across from the, uh, AP, the old APG building. I'm like, I used to be in there every night just like a dog. Just going hard like a dog. They had some Mexicans come by in the car. They was doing a little funny little dance. But all you heard was boom, 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 boom. Doom, 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 doom. And that's when it came back to me like I was by myself. I had that epiphany. Man, I'm already winning. This is what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They ain't saying nothing on social media. They don't care. They really celebrate me on that black top. Right. When I say black top, I'm talking about the street. Yeah, y'all get your get Yeah, yeah they, they celebrate me on that black top. And I was comparing my life to other people highlight film because they only show you the good part. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, everybody be going crazy, man. These man, come on, man. I'm not living like that. Right. Nice. Then, then I had got off social media for like a year and a half. Well, he he know all of this. Yeah. I got off social media for like a year and a half. I really had de deactivated my page because I was gonna go ahead and yeah. I was gonna get it right, done. Right, and then right. the type of person I am, I ain't about to say, hey bro, I'm about to kill myself. I don't do all that. That's that's horse playing to me. I feel like if we gonna do it, I was just gonna have to find my bad. I'm about to go zip myself. That's just how I felt, the right. short version of it. But in being off social media and stop making comparisons, which come them comparisons. Because it make you do that, because everybody winning on social media. Everybody the killer winning. Of all joy. Joy. Like, how'd you get to that point though? That right. I wanted to smash myself? Mm -hmm. You want to be honest? Yeah. That's All the way honest? Yeah. Cause you seem super strong mentally. No. The, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> the people, when the people around you don't celebrate you properly, mm -hmm. you, you know, like, like I'm this world-class athlete, but at the end of the day, when I go home, I'm not being celebrated properly. I'm on the good as what I could do. Mm. You, you make me feel like I'm on the good as what I could provide. And I bet not do this and bet not do this, or you gon', you know what I'm saying? You, this how you look at life. 
It's like you're not being celebrated by the people around you. Like, I'm already getting beat up by the world. I'm already a nigga. You know what I'm saying? I make this shit look Target. good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm already a nigga. Mm -hmm. I'm already getting beat up by the world. I'm already looking at social media, you know, and comparing my life to other people's highlight realms. I'm dealing with this. I'm already dealing with the anxiety because I got to be the best in my field. When I feel like I'm not the best at what I'm doing, I'm already this. And then to go home and still not be in peace. So it's feel like, you know what? I here, take my money. Y'all can have it. I'm gonna go and get out the way mm. since I'm the problem. Mm. I, I saw something where you said family was like a celebration. Like anytime you with your family, it's like a celebration to you. Yes, like, sir. Speaking on that, like explain that. Like, cause I can mm. feel that feeling you going home and all the weight and the pressure's on, you know what I'm saying? You gotta take care of everybody. Not your, not your family and loved ones around you, like your mom and dad and all that, which I'm talking about when you with your children. Mm -hmm. Like that part of it is a celebration. I got you. Because I always looked at having a family like winning. All right. That's how I always looked at that, like, wife, children, that's winning to me. For sure. Like, having a million multiple females, that wasn't ever winning to me. Mm -hmm. And I hate to sound like a sucker, but, like, I kind of am. Because that's what I, that's the, that's the person that I always been was family and children. Like, that's how I was raised, kind of old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. So... Even in my situationships, I end up, this is my first time saying this, I'm just saying this because mm -hmm. I'm in front of you. Yeah. Even with a woman that I'm dealing with, I kind of deal with her as if like, she my significant other or my partner, like, like because that's when I was looking for that love in all the wrong places. Before I start putting that love back into myself, mm. it's so easy for me to pour into other people. And when I do finally pour into myself, I kind of feel wrong for doing so. Mm. I this is my first time ever saying that in an interview. <laughs> That's dope, though. Bro. I only said that because you, I, I love you. Love you too, bro. I, pre I appreciate that information. Bro. That's real. Right. I say, that, but I, another thing I want to say. Um, another thing that that I wasn't doing, I wasn't communicating properly. Cause sometimes it's hard to communicate when you're a man, cause it's like. Bitch, you supposed to just know. Right. <laughs> you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. But it's, it's hard to communicate sometimes when you're a man because we done been through so much. Yeah. And you never want to say something that we don't never want to say nothing to make us look weak or be vulnerable. Then you got to be careful who you be vulnerable with because when you're a man, you know the thing is, don't test me. I don't want to be tested, and if I am tested, I'm a, I'm really willing to die. Right. Is, is that why you are, always say men suffer in silence? We do. Every day, every day. Like my sister would come to me, I can't believe he broke me down. She put him on deck for me, I take care of him. Period. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. Okay. You ain't say, you know, I can't go to you. I, you know what I'm saying? Which I didn't got comfortable doing that now, mm -hmm. but I still feel like, man, a lot of men suffer in silence because on mad day, I don't want my past to be, I don't want you to be interrogator. What's that movie? Uh, Minister of Society. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. <laughs> Don't you? Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. I'd invented that you would have been told open you. with you. Right, right. Now, you about to use Deals this against it. me on Mad exactly. Day. You know you the fucked up. So you say you really at 11 o'clock. Don't do that to me. That make me feel like that. Now that make me go back in my shell. Like, yeah, who yeah. can I talk to? Can't who talk can I nobody. trust? Mm -hmm. Put you in the shell like a mother. So how'd you start communicating better then? I just said, you know what? Well, really, no, that's, I had to say that, but I'm going to be honest with you. Spiritually, I can't believe I'm about to say this. My throat chakra, for me not telling the truth, my throat chakra started getting blocked, and I started getting sick. I to release I started that having shit. colds and shit like that right, 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 right. Okay. until I started opening my throat yeah. chakra and speaking the truth. <laughs> I haven't been sick since. That's cold. When I was living at the, the other spot before I moved here, yeah. I used to be sick a lot, like just like weak and everything because I wasn't speaking Hold my it, truth. Yeah. And when I'm not speaking my truth, I'm not living in my truth. And when you set boundaries, you showing love for yourself. It's okay to tell people no, not today. Yeah. Let me ask you this question. But I had a fear of telling people no, cause you know, once you tell them no, yeah, I already know, they right? act like you never told them yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the one time, that's, yeah. that's the thing. I hate that <laughs> time and say yeah. no. I, like, I, I said yeah. yes a hundred times. Load yeah. 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 One time. Hey. Said, no, I just looked out for you a thousand times. They're going to run your name all on the dirt, beat your back out about it. Real rap. 
Like, like this is my brother. My I've been locked in. He been drafted to Philly. He out here now. He over there where I live at, in the good folks' neighborhood, but it's five, ten minutes away from Crenshaw and the hoods we grew up in. My little cousin driving down the street. He called my phone immediately. Like, I just seen LaShawn McCoy. I'm tripping like, I'm like, oh, where you see him at? Like, I don't live over there. Remind you, I live right next door to this. This is my cousin. He don't even know I live over there because he get ugly. And I'm telling bro, like, you got to be careful where you move and where you go. Like, shit get real in any places of the world. Yeah, why are you looking like that? Because it's real. No, he be calling me all scared. <laughs> it ain't about being dinner. scared. No, 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 no. Talk to him. Oh. He called me. Yeah, you got your jewelry on, where you at? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be on him. He didn't come out here like for that. TV and doing then it. Then another and thing, you know, like. He just so real. You know, like, take us, recognize, give us. When you got a genuine heart and you a good dog, you got to realize you, you susceptible to take us. Even the women you deal with, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Them don't be just filing you and all that. That be them hoes yep, giving them true. that drop. Yep, yep. You know, so to say I'm wrong because Gates, you'll go back and with some shit out the hood you been with for 10 years ago, whatever. It's my safe place. My little trap girl, I'm cool. Yeah, I could keep y'all Instagram models. I know if it get gangster, you know what I'm saying? She gonna bang it out with you, I'm gonna bang it out with you. It's just what it is. You know? I'm wrong, okay, cool. But I'm winning. But you back home now, though. Back home where? <laughs> home where the heart is, and I ain't got nowhere to stay. Maybe <laughs> one day find a place searching for a new escape. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my last question for you. No, nah, I ain't to say <laughs> I thought you was back home. Hey, hold on, y'all. How, how long y'all go hey, back, bro? Big brother. I'm at home right now. Home is where the heart is. Home is this is home. home. What's the relationship here, though? Because that's crazy. I ain't. I would you say. You want me to be honest? Hell yeah. You want me to tell them the truth? Go ahead. The truth, truth, yeah, or just the. Yeah. We don't give us the truth. We don't go nowhere else but the yeah. truth, bro. You got to go straight through it. Well, you know, we've been knowing each other for eternities. You know what I'm saying? Before this realm, but we connected in this realm. We united, reunited in this realm. Like, I forgot. <laughs> Feel like forever. I, fucking... <laughs> I call him and bother him though. Hey man, y'all yeah. got it. Nah, yeah. nah, yeah. Like you nah. see this conversation, this is how we all no I, knew, I is... knew he was. I knew he was in tune. He was tapped in. Yeah. Like it, that spiritual energy. I knew. I just knew when I first had just. I heard him speak, mm -hmm. and I just been. I forgot when we first connected, but it just like been my brother. Like I knew that was my brother. Like, love at first sight, I knew that was my brother. You ain't gonna yeah. say pause to that? Yeah, pause to that. See, I always say pause. I don't know how you say Out of all the interviews, all the rappers, athletes, and all that, this is my favorite one. You know, I don't, I don't I'm do I'm learning. I'm, I'm actually yo, this, learning. Yo, I hate yo, to like, do that, bro. No, but, no, but like, you teaching us, though. But this man, I, you know what I hate to, yeah. I, and I ain't trying to just salute him, you heard me, like that, and just keep no, overdoing it. We don't do enough of that in our in our. But, but. Like I was going through one of the roughest patches in my life. I can't really speak on it. This was in 2022. And I should have came out there yeah. when you told me to come, but and record my album. And I came here instead, but I should have came there. But when I came in Miami, I was like, damn. But you got some good advice. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Man. <laughs> sometimes, but you got some good advice. I should have came there, bro. I should have came to the to the to the to the facility, bro. That's why you don't judge though, right? I'm gonna be honest. Cause he had some takes that social media shit, and they'll he'll have a 20, 40 minute interview and they'll chop up with spicy, right? That. But no, real quick. So I'm like, Two damn, I, I see this. Yeah. Like, damn, he said that. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll so, be like, so, man, this is weird. Yep. Yeah. I ain't gonna call you <laughs> weird. I was just like, oh, this shit is different. different. Yeah, this shit be different. But look, he, 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 he walked yeah, walk in with a suit. I'm like, hey, like, yeah. okay, that was different, right? I'm like, that's solid. Then as I, I meet you, Right? Then we start talking. I said, yo, he ain't nothing I thought he was from all them takes. Solid. That's why I'll never judge them. I mean, because I don't know you. I never met brother, you. I'm going to be honest with you. They always do that to me in interviews. And that's what had me, like, scared to say stuff. Right. For fear of somebody doing yeah. that, which when I'm wearing my big brother, I could really just be free. speak freely. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, like, like even with, like, the sh going through it with my mental cognitive, like, I was going through it, through it. Like, I did, like, two years on the road. And no uh no tour bus, just in an escalade truck, just with that little dog right there. Mm -hmm. That little dog right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's little chill. yogi. I, I was on the road. I'm talking about imagine the the thing, I'ma just say this. Imagine you playing your whole NFL season. Mm -hmm. Your whole season. And at the end of the season, 
you go to the bank. Ain't no money in there? And ain't nothing in there. God. I'm just saying imagine. Oh my God. Hypothet I'm just giving you a hypothetical. All right. I'm not saying that happened to me, but just imagine that happened. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck would do. The, the, the people you love and trust. Hmm. Oh, that's serious. I, what would you I, do? I just, I but just you landed. can't. But you can't just speak, land, You no, can't just even say nothing. Hey, you a gangster, so it you landed. come out and say you ratting. Right. So like, what, what's All up? Right, yeah. Damn. But he, but he, but but me and my my brother know everything that was that's going cold. on with me. Like, I, like I really suffered. But the media make it look like, man, he just a monster. He this and that. How I, I always been the sacrificial lamb, and I ain't even playing victim. I know I'm hard to deal with. I know I don't communicate for fear of. People judging me or for fear of you taking my vulnerability and using it against me. I don't get close to people for fear of you taking my loyalty and using it against me because I could be honest with you, every time I went to jail, it was for somebody else. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> then this last time I went, then this last time I went to jail, you know, 1201, yeah, we're going to release you at 1201. They come serve me a warrant. What you know about having your heart broke like that? Mm. Get, go to Chicago, you heard me? I got it. You're not taking in the, in the accountability that I had. I was detained in another jurisdiction. Y'all slam me. What you know about having your heart broke like that? Then y'all say I'm this gang chief. I've never been in a gang in my life. I just led the prayer. It was different gang members that just happened to, you know, be Muslim. I led the prayer. They say I'm a big gang chief and ship me out the facility. Get him up out of here. He a gang chief. Put me on lockdown. What you know about having your heart broke like that? Then when I do get a visit, it don't matter who it was. Yeah, your brother just got murdered. Mm. What you know about having your heart broke like that? We were just talking about how we was going to ball and be flossing and go get more tattoos and all that when I came home. And they like, man, when you come home, you got to put that ice on. Like, what you know about having your heart broke like that? I can keep going, but for what? Right. I like, I suffered. I'm talking about man, the people, my staff, the people in this room, I buy everybody before I buy myself something. I maybe only got three or four of these shirts with a bow tie, because I feel like I ain't nothing fly in a bow tie, because that was my grandfather used to wear. <laughs> that <laughs> is fly. <laughs> I don't know why I like where, a little bow tie. Where, where you get the leaf, like putting the leaf in your ear? Right there. Talking where, about my feathers. feathers. I got them in. I had them in when I came here, but I took them out. Why you do that? I don't know. The energy just felt like, just told me, just take them out right now. You got that from grandfather too? Nah, my grandmother, they Indians. My mama, grandma, mm. all them, they Native American. They Indians. So that's where you yeah. got your drip from, Grandpa? You were that gangster. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this last question before we roll. Um, you happy? Oh, I'm peaceful. I have happy. I have more happy moments than I have in the past, but I'm peaceful. I'm peaceful. See, that little simple shit we do, me and you be doing, we went ate pizza and shit. Yeah. That's my, I'm cool with that. It's family. Mm. You know, then I see myself like, and, every, like, and the people I place myself around are the people I can see myself in, the greater versions of me. And like, my biggest fear was like, I guess believing in myself. I believe in myself now. Yeah, straight up. So I can say I'm peaceful. I'm peaceful now. Way more peaceful. Yeah, I feel like for me, I just turned 39 yesterday. Thank you. Um, and, and, and I just feel like, you know, I'm taking it one day can at a time. Can I add like, to that? Go ahead. Of, of something that we be talking about. You know how asleep. when we say something, all of our selves listen? Mm-hmm. And you know how we was talking about like the Gregorian calendar and how that's not even right. Like the new year started at the beginning of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. Like this is how the, off the lunar calendar, like the new year just started. Like people say, man, it's never supposed to be like this. Shit was still winter. It, the spring just started. Um, when you talk yourselves, listen, and when we tell ourselves that we aging, we age. Mm -hmm. mm. Like, can we start saying, like... Are you supposed to say you 24 instead of 39? No, no, what I was about to say was... <laughs> we forever young. 40, yeah. 50 is my prime. Yes, sir. That's what I was, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I've been saying that to my team. And, and, but even that is negative, you know why? Because I just turned 39. So what's going to happen for the next 12 months? Because I'm building right now. Like, I'm in some 
right now. There's some toxicity around me. There's some energy around me that I'm like fighting to get away. And I've been in that moment for about 12 months. And I just had this vision of like 40. Bro, like I just feel like I'm, I'm, about, to, I'm about to walk into my prime. You know what I'm saying? So, he tell me that when we talk, man, you walking into your prime yeah, right I feel now. Yeah, I feel it, bro. Like, we in peace, I'm telling you, like, damn. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm telling you this about that. <laughs> you don't got no books yeah. that you would recommend for us to read? I can tell you read a lot. Um, you going to read them or listen to the audio book? <laughs> it's, the same, it's the same thing. It's the same it's thing. Not. It depends what it is. It's um, not. Sometimes when I fly, I might just put them drinks on. And then if I'm chilling on board, I read it. The reason I say it's not... Cause it's like I stole that from Nipsey. Nipsey, I stole that from him. The audio book's cool, but you still listening to somebody else's voice tell you the book, which I ain't got nothing against it. I'm saying I'm gonna I'm gonna read it though, but then sometimes I just be I'm gonna read more than I'm listening to. What, what are you into? Like mm, self improvement. Uh, you know what? I like to read stuff that um. So I'm in like the uh, commentating broadcasting space. So right now I'm reading a book on um Stephen A. Smith, right? Then I get done with that. I'll probably find some else to into. Like like real estate. I just read this book on real estate. I'm big into that. It's called um I forget the name of it. But I'm reading stuff that I can align myself with. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know yeah, some good get, I know some, some, I know some good reads. I'm if I'm um, asking you, I'm being serious. Um How to Eat to Live. Mm. That's more that's for the fast. Cause I need that shit. Um that fast. It's type. written by uh it's written by uh What is it? How to Elijah, how to, Elijah Muhammad. Mm, Elijah to Muhammad. Live. Yeah. I like that um and I'm not a nation of Islam. Yeah, I sound I don't really rock I ain't, with, I ain't, I ain't like none that. of that. I ain't none of that. I'm just Muslim. But right, the way right. he talk about it and break it down on how to eat to live. Okay. There's a beautiful book from Nick of the Gods. Okay. <laughs> That's different. Um The um Let America. me get one let me get one yeah. other book. Um, what I'm into Elijah right Muhammad now, is that America being a true old world, okay. like where they talk about how the pyramids over here, hundreds of years right, older right. than Egypt, yeah. and that shit has been so interesting to me. I'm like, what the? F What's it called? American what? Uh, America, the true old world. Okay. What's up? Appreciate you, bro. Love you, man. I love you more, Papa. Yeah. Hey, never afraid of making mistakes, man. Always get better. It's life. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't afraid to make mistakes. This was. Yeah, that was good. Like I'm gonna try that. Yo, let's try that fast though. Real rap. Right. I got about two, three days. In it's you fun, yo, man. let's. He was like, man, I might just do it like a weekend or some. We had to fight to get a meal. Yeah, wrongfully accused. We had to fight to get a pill. That's why we right to get a deal. He on the team, he gotta eat, you know. Spike, spike your skills. Fat. Keep it riding for the fam. You gotta light the wooden wheels straight up. But in the past, bad. Work up in the trash bag. I'll pass a lot to take the test before I pass class. Yeah, and my family needed bread. I had to come correct. That's why I keep airing it out like I just passed gas.